Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to build a radar system. Okay, you may be asking yourself, what is radar? This boy is taking up. What is radar? Okay, don't worry. I'm going to explain everything. And you're going to see step by step guide of, and you're going to see the real life application of this radar. And you're going to know how it works, how it builds. Okay, but you will be able to know what it is in the radar system. You will be able to know what it is in the radar system. Okay, I'm going to get an explanation of what it is in the radar system. Bon ba bilal and aliyah and ngatandala for a real life application. The word radar was coined in 1940 by the United States Navy. It stands for radio detection and ranging. Radar uses radio waves to detect the location of objects like airplanes in the sky. A device called a magnetron generates high-powered radio waves. An antenna focuses these waves into a narrow beam and continually shoots them into the sky. The radio waves travel at the speed of light until they hit an object, like an airplane. The waves bounce off the airplane and travel back towards Earth. Some of the return waves are captured by the antenna and the data is processed by computers. Based on the strength and travel time of the radio waves, a computer determines the location of the airplane. The airplane's location is then displayed on an air traffic controller's screen. This is how radar helps air traffic controllers track the location of airplanes in the sky. Look at this. So the ground.
turbulent weather, can lead to passenger discomfort, and in extreme situations, can jeopardize safety of the flight. To avoid flying into turbulence, the navigation systems must constantly provide the information about the weather conditions ahead of the aircraft. To achieve this the aircraft is equipped with the weather radar system. The system has a high directional flat plate antenna in the radome of the aircraft and two weather radar computer in the avionics compartment. On April 9, on the occasion of the Russian Day of Air Defense Forces, an official revealed that the Russian military was deploying the cutting-edge technology of niobium radar in Ukraine, which is used to detect aircraft, helicopters, drones, ballistic missiles, and MLRS rockets. The commander of the niobium radar station, Anatoly, spoke extensively to local Russian media as best Severe weather, like tornadoes, hail, and ice storms, can protect Canadians and save lives. But accurate forecasts require detailed information about what's happening in our atmosphere. Doppler weather radar is an important part of gathering this information. It works by sending out pulses of microwave energy and by listening as those pulses bounce back off objects in the atmosphere, such as raindrops, snowflakes, and hail. We have two tracks entering the area of interest to the northeast, likely two small vehicles. Likely four individuals dismounted and are moving in direction of border. Vehicles now moving to east and west. Camera confirms four individuals armed with AK-47s. They are continuing to move from northeast to southwest in direction of the border, interdict at will. 